today we unbox and check out a collection of mini Z's from Kyosho. Hey guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com and today we have my first Mini Z from Kyosho. We're gonna be unboxing this Lamborghini right here. Uh, picked this up directly over at Kyosho America and they were kind enough to lend me a whole collection of Mini Zs to show on the channel. So later in this episode, we'll be checking out some of those cool collector items. So what I didn't realize was the almost cult following that the Mini Z has from Kyosho. There's people that actually collect these. They have many racetracks for them. And this is a very small car. I couldn't actually find a true scale of it on the box. But I, if I had to guess, it's probably between 128 to 130 second scale. Now this is a full ready to run vehicle. It comes with not only the chassis, the 2.4 gigahertz remote, the body style that you selected, but it also works off of just regular AAA batteries for both the remote and the vehicle. Looking further into some of the fine pictures right here is a full set of upgrade parts, including different spring rates, aluminum bits and pieces, carbon fiber, specialty tires, brushless motors, titanium screw sets, you name it, they have it for the Mini Z line of vehicles. Inside the box, we have a few items, including the Mini Z sports owner's manual pretty thick actually it has lots of information on here uh, for your new vehicle you have a little supplement item right here for a parts list from kyosho this is pretty cool you get about 20 of these little tiny cones which are pretty cool and also a couple of tools are inside there as well to work on your mini z last is a set of parts and i don't even want to guess what these things are because i don't know the chassis that well enough the 2.4 gigahertz remote is pretty nice actually for such a small car. It's a very large remote and it has kind of like a George Jetson look to it. You do have a fold up antenna right here, a couple of different trim levels that I need to read a little bit more about. Power button right there. The cool thing right here is the little release for the for AAA batteries that it takes to run. You do have a rubber backspacer and a pretty unique kind of D-shaped wheel right here with a very nice return and the wheel is quite large to say the least. And now finally for the star of the show, the Mini Z I chose, which is the Lamborghini Murcielago. This is the chrome red version, which I thought was pretty cool. It definitely has that red look to it, but it has a mirror type finish to the actual red look to it. What is most notable about the Kyosho Mini Z line of vehicles are the details, and that is what you definitely get in the Mini Zs. You can see here the exhaust and all sorts of different details like the mirrors with the actual chrome pieces for the mirror. You have the Lamborghini script, the vents, you have everything that you'd wanna see in a tiny scale vehicle in this Murcielago. Even down to the lenses for the lights, you can actually see a clear lens and inside are the tiny little lights. This thing is just full of surprises as far as the details. Bringing in the chassis, you can see all of the tiny little details in it, including the brushed motor right here on the far right-hand side. It does use a direct gear drive, so you can see the large spur gear right here over to the pinion gear on the motor side. It does take two AAA batteries on each side of the chassis, and they sit very low, so all the weight will be very lowly proportioned. You do have a top spring right here for the rear chassis to flex, and you can kind of see it flexing right there as I do flex it. Um, up here, you do have a tiny little antenna that is for the 2.4 gigahertz remote, and the front end of this is just quite amazing. Now, this is a two-wheel drive version. The rack and pinion steering is very, very nice and smooth, and it has quite a bit of angle to it, so you can kind of see it switching back and forth. It has a nice feel in the servo as well. On the underside of the chassis, we do have an on-off switch, and this is proportioned to the Mercy Lago body mount. 
As I look further into the Mini Z, we do have a port up in here on the top, possibly for some type of programming or charging. I'll have to read more about that later. Uh, we also have uh, suspension on the front. There's actually a cantilever suspension that actually cantilevers to these tiny little springs in here. So a uh, pretty cool action uh, as I was testing it out. Has full control arms on the front as well. Just an absolutely marvel uh, when it comes to the technology in this tiny little RC car. And there it is, a very small portion of what's available in the Mini Z market. Now, all of the ones you see open here on the bottom, those are full running replicas of different vehicles. Now, of course, the far left one down there is the red chrome Murcielago that I showed earlier. But with that, there is a couple of other cool items on here. So let's go in close and take a look. So the first three are gonna be a couple of dueling Lamborghinis right here, both the same model. Of course, the red chrome one you saw earlier. This is a matte black version, so pretty much the entire same scheme as the red chrome, but just done in a fabulous matte black finish. Finally, we have a Fair Lady Z. This is a, don't know the exact year, but definitely one of the Datsun 280 series of vehicles and uh, done up pretty nicely, even with the tiny little mirrors mounted way up here on the front fenders. Next, we have a couple of race cars. Yes, the Formula One Vodafone is super detailed. It has all of the bells and whistles on this, including the officially licensed Bridgestone Potenza tires. I mean, you name it, it's pretty much on this vehicle. Then also we have the Bilstein sponsored Gran Turismo. That is an Audi R8. Just an absolutely beautiful car. It just looks the part, even with the tiny little antenna up here on the very top roof, tiny mirrors. I mean, everything's tiny on it. It just looks cool. Next, we have a couple of Kyosho production vehicles. Now, of course, the one on the left there is the original four-wheel drive Kyosho Optima. I built one of these things up, the actual re-release for 2016. Super cool vehicle. Came with either a chain or a belt drive and you gotta love the detail of even the little knobby tires the red shocks I mean everything on it just screams vintage and then finally on the right hand side we have the officially done up JTP yes that is Jared Tebow's ZX5 is what it's actually labeled kind of looks a little bit more like an MP9 but uh, it is JTP's actual paint scheme has all of his sponsors on there including Kyosho Orion AK a co propo I mean the, the whole nine yards on it is pretty cool even with the little tiny shock towers and the turnbuckles it just screams cool you even have a kind of like an aka style of tire on there it is pretty cool especially coming from my world of the RC industry now these next four are pretty cool now these are actually just bodies you purchase these as a body set for a mini Z but the way it comes is pretty cool. Now, not only do you get it in a very nice display case as you see it right there, but you get the body and you get a dummy chassis that actually has wheels and tires mounted to it that are appropriately scaled to the exact replica body. Now, many of Kyosho's body sets for the Mini Z are limited run production. So if you happen to see it today, you may not see it in a few days, especially on the more popular models and all the ones that are fully sponsors, like the ones you see here, like the Modal, uh, another Modal down there. You have the GM Goodwrench down here. I believe this was Kevin Harvick's car uh, a while back, Harvick, I should say. And then of course the number one Martini. That is a, a pretty cool looking old school Porsche right there. Finally, a couple of variations of the Mini Z lineup. Of course, I unboxed the Lamborghini earlier, which was part of their Go Fast, Go Customize series. Now, the other two that I've seen out there, uh, the far one right here, the this is actually a GTR from Nissan, a R34 body, and it is an all-wheel drive, so you can easily go ahead and drift right here. So they're calling this the Go Drift, Go Customize. And then finally, the Mini Z, this is an H2 Hummer that actually can climb and, and do other things, uh, like a little rock crawler almost. So this is part of their Go Climb, Go Customize series of vehicles.
Well guys, that's it. That is a quick unboxing of my Murcielago and of course the small collection here that Kyosho let me borrow to uh, show you guys just to see what kind of different alternatives there are for the Mini Z collection. Now, remember what you get with a Mini Z, you get a highly detailed body. I mean, no one does it better than Kyosho with these vehicles. So uh, keep that in mind if you do plan to pick one up. I'll try and have a couple of links down in the video description to a couple of the options out there but like I said a lot of these are actually limited production so they may not be available when you actually view this video but take a look I'll have a couple options down there for you if you have any comments or questions about this video feel free to post it on down below and as always thumbs up and subscribe that's it for now guys over and out